leverage and accelerate the adoption of digital technology in all domains and workflow, we can also notice the difference between the working methods, efficiency and productivity of work being done. And these changes can also be seen in the field of healthcare organization. With the embracement of technology, medical science has achieved great success, but as the saying goes that every pro comes with its own set of cons. Every organization, including the healthcare organization, has also faced the downside of this boom. Healthcare organizations have also started to maintain digital records of their patients' data, which has attracted a lot of malicious activity in this sector too, due to which the requirement of cyber security in healthcare organizations has increased more than ever before. The importance of cybersecurity is paramount and needs good implementation. So if you want to know more about this, sit tight as we bring to you all the information that you need right on your screen. If you haven't subscribed to our channel yet, I want to request you to hit the subscribe button and turn on the notifications bell so that you don't miss out on any new updates or video releases from Great Learning. If you enjoy this video, show us some love and like this video. Knowledge increases by sharing. So make sure you share this video with your friends and colleagues. Make sure to comment on the video. Any queries or suggestions and I will respond to your comments. Hello everybody. Welcome to Great Learning. Today we will be discussing about cyber security in healthcare organizations. Let's look at the agenda for this entire course. Initially you all will learn what is cyber security and its need. Later on we will discuss what makes healthcare a prime target. Later on we will also discuss how can organizations fight back. With no further delay, let's get into this course. The world we live in is network like a mesh including our finances, social profile and governmental infrastructure. Cyber security by default has become a necessity. Cyber security encompasses everything from protecting personal information to intellectual property from deliberate attempts of damage and theft. Risks are festering as the world leans more towards cloud services and global connectivity. For example, Facebook had a security breach where hundreds of millions of Facebook user records were exposed on Amazon cloud server. According to content delivery network provider Akamai, gaming industry has been the biggest victim of cyber attacks in the past couple of years. Now let's look at the definition of cyber security. Cyber security is a practice of protecting systems and networks from digital attacks. Need of cyber security. Few years back, firewall and antivirus softwares were used as security measures. But that is not the case now. We have stepped into a new phase in this digital world where cyber crimes are increasing rapidly with the advancement in technology. So cyber security plays a major role in securing data from data breaches in various organizations. Data breach is nothing but stealing information from an organization system without the consent of the owner. Hope you all have understood what is cyber security and the need of cyber security. It is extremely difficult to run away from sophisticated technologies in healthcare sectors like most others. But why healthcare is plagued with ransomware attacks and how can organizations fight back? Let's answer the former first. But before that, you all should know what are ransomware attacks. Ransomware attack is a form of malware that when downloaded to a device deletes all data. Valuable information, non-secure medical devices, outdated technology and hesitancy with adoption make healthcare a prime target. Let's discuss each of them one by one. The first one is valuable information. Healthcare organizations are susceptible to cyber attacks as they possess large amount of data that is of high monetary and intelligence value to attackers. The critical and confidential information not only includes financial information, but also the patient's protected medical history, social security numbers and data related to research and innovation that are worth a lot of money to attackers. Non-secure medical devices. Hospitals use an elaborate network of devices 
to sustain their needs and manage massive amounts of data and devices large organizations are bound to have an extensive network that are connected to servers that store valuable information for example mri machines are frequently connected to workstations that allow operators to work with mri pictures these devices act as entry points for hackers to pave their way into the system within the network where valuable information are stored medical devices lack security that comes from other entry points in other organizations by removing an entire protection filter outdated technology and hesitancy with adoption even with advances in medical technologies not all healthcare organizations are switching over to the newer technologies the hospital organization should release system updates for softwares to be equipped with the recent version as softwares become obsolete vendors will stop providing updates even if healthcare organizations switch over to newer technologies it becomes hassle for workers to adapt the newer technologies the workers are not trained in these aspects as they lack time and resources so it becomes easier for hackers to attack a compromised or outdated system adopting cyber security measures will reduce the risk of ransomware attacks as well as protect the critical healthcare industry and its infrastructure so let's see how can organizations fight back against cyber attacks the first one is to use robust tried and tested cyber security technologies it is imperative to use cyber security technologies suggested by cyber security experts it is important to use validated measures and good products to minimize the risk of data breaches malfunctions and so on your cyber security strategy should not add on to the problem by being cumbersome and unreliable the first step is to set up an asset management system to acquire the insights of all the medical devices over the network the medical devices should be protected and the data should be encrypted whenever possible and vulnerability assessment should be conducted on the softwares deployed on these devices cyber security training for healthcare workers healthcare workers should be proficient in accessing and managing the technology in place the end user can become a weak link in the robust system of cyber security measures workers can fall victim to phishing and spoofing attacks it's very important to educate and train the workers about the technologies so that they can make best use of them whilst being in the network it's also important to educate and train the workers about technologies so that the workers can make best use of them whilst protecting their network employee access limitation the attackers misuse the login credentials of authorized users to pay their way into an organization system so system access should be controlled for example a pharmaceutical employee has no need to access a patient's health history to perform his job so it's very important to limit the system access mindfully and reasonably to protect the security of an organization plan a breach and have a recovery plan the more sophisticated cyber security measures and technologies become so does the attacks so it's imperative to consider that a data breach has already occurred this allows healthcare organizations to be prepared for a breach and have a comprehensive strategy recovery mode of action and counter measures in place to recover from the same mindful use of mobile devices as we have become more and more dependent on mobiles it has become an entry point for ransomware attacks mobile phones and other portable devices have opened a host of possibilities for hackers and healthcare it is very easy to steal sensitive information from mobile devices so unless and until it is necessary please do not store any sensitive data on your mobile phones the importance of cyber security in healthcare is enormous and it needs to be addressed meticulously to protect these institutions so hope you all have understood how can organizations fight back against cyber threats hurray so it's time for us to recollect whatever we studied throughout this entire course so initially we focused on cyber security and its need we discussed the definition of cyber security and the importance of cyber security cyber security is a practice of protecting systems and networks from digital attacks next we discussed what makes healthcare a prime target 
Three things makes healthcare a prime target, and that is valuable information, non-secure medical devices, outdated technology, and hesitancy with adoption. Towards the end, we also discussed how can organizations fight back against cyber attacks. We discussed about five ways in this course. The first one is to use robust, tried, and tested cybersecurity technologies. Next, it's very essential to give. Cyber security training for healthcare workers. The employee access should be restricted to ensure overall security in an organization. It's also very important to plan for a breach and have a recovery plan. Towards the end, we also discussed about the mindful use of mobile devices. Hope you all learned interesting concepts throughout this course. Thank you all. If you haven't subscribed to our channel yet, I want to request you to hit the subscribe button and turn on the notifications bell so that you don't miss out on any new updates or video releases from Great Learning. If you enjoy this video, show us some love and like this video. Knowledge increases by sharing. So make sure you share this video with your friends and colleagues. Make sure to comment on the video. Any queries or suggestions and I will respond to your comments.